This is one of the most unique energy storage solutions I have ever seen. It's called the Komodo Mini, and it's made by a company called Battery Evo. I'm excited to test it out today and show you what it can do. Let's get going. Well, what is this thing? Well, it's basically a big battery. It's a DC to AC inverter, and it's mounted on tank tracks, and you can drive it with a remote control. So it is a movable, drivable generator that you can take anywhere in your property or you can park it next to your house. You could even take this camping. In the front here, we've got four USB ports, we've got four USB-C ports, and we've got six 120 volt outlets. And these are all GFCI outlets. The inverter inside of here can output 3000 watts or three kilowatts of power. It has this tow hitch on it that allows you to tow small things, and it can also support 300 pounds on the top. Let me turn it around here with the remote control, and it's got a light here on the front which runs directly off of the DC battery. So if it's nighttime and you need to hook this up because of a power outage, you've got some light here to see what you're doing. Also, if you take this camping, you've got another light source here for you. You can see how responsive it is with this little remote control. And the remote control doesn't take batteries, it's rechargeable, which is very nice because if it runs low, you can charge it directly off of this as well. This screen over here is gonna give you some information about the current voltage, the state of charge of the battery, the output voltage, and the temperature of the battery itself. And you charge it with a special charger via this Anderson connector right here. Now the battery in here is unique. It's an NMC battery, which is nickel manganese cobalt. Its full state of charge is 50.4 volts, and then it'll settle back after that, after charging to about 49.9 volts, give or take 49.8 volts. Some companies are using the NMC batteries because they are more energy dense than the lithium iron phosphate batteries. That's pretty cool. I've never tested one of these types of batteries before. We're gonna run this thing hard and see how much it can take. The remote that comes with it is pretty good. It has a single thumb joystick on it, and then it has adjustment buttons, which you can adjust the tracks on it. So you can keep it going straight if it starts to veer off a little bit, you can adjust that. And it has a pretty decent range, about a football field. Let's drive this to my barn. I'm gonna load it up, I'm gonna put a little trailer on it, and we are gonna go out onto our property where I have some projects that need to get done that I need electric tools to do. That's gonna be an advantage for a homesteader like me who's got a decent sized property and I wanna do projects far out on the property. And trying to get my gasoline generator out there is extremely difficult because it is very heavy, it's got small wheels, it just can't go where I need it to go. If you're interested in one of these, I do have the link in the description below the video, so go check that out. I'm gonna be building a little cabin on the property which is not near any power source at all. And I do have metal fencing all the way around our property. And sometimes I do need a welder or a grinder to be able to make repairs to that fencing. And I do not have a farm truck with a big diesel electric generator on the back of it. I'm not a rancher, so I don't need one of those, but I do need electricity out on the property remotely. And this is gonna solve that issue. I have this little cart that I use for pretty much everything around the property that's small. And I'm just taking a few small things with me so I have to modify this a little bit. I put a chain around the ball so I can pull the trailer. The ball is a little bit of a challenge because it is down so low and I don't have any trailer that is that low that is within the towing capacity of this, which it says it can tow about a thousand pounds. With the amount of torque that this has, I'm sure that it can tow it. But what I'm worried about a little bit is the tongue on this. It's gonna to have to be balanced perfectly so there's not too much weight on this tongue. I've got a decent load back here in the cart, but I need room for some other things and I'm kinda of out of room. So I'm gonna put them on top of the unit. And for that, I've got three 80 pound bags of concrete equaling 240 pounds. Let's see what happens. You know, I forgot something important for my project and that is my air compressor. So I just put it on the back of my mini cart. Let's see what we can do. So here's the first test. I've got my 15 amp, 15 gallon DeWalt air compressor. 
I've got a 14 amp skill saw. I think this is a 13 amp uh, Milwaukee drill, quarter drill, obviously. And I've got my Lincoln Weld Pack 100. We're gonna start flipping things on and see what this can handle. Let's kick on this air compressor first. We're looking at 1500 watt draw on that air compressor. I don't think I'm gonna get everything on at the same time, but that's fine. Let's hit the skill saw and see what happens. Let's hit the drill. I'm not gonna be able to drill into the tree one-handed, but we'll try it. You can hear the fans on the unit are really humming right now. And they shut off pretty quick. Wow, I just turned the load off and they shut off. We're at about 49, 48.9 to 49 volts left in the battery. Let's see if it'll handle this. I did forget to mention that I needed to clean off my weld. So to do that, I needed a battery powered tool. But what if you're way out on your property and your batteries are low? Well, that's the cool thing too. You can plug in your battery chargers for your small tools into the Komodo. All right, we're gonna do a little welding. I know I've got short sleeves, but it's just a simple quick demonstration to show you what the draw is on the unit. I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you can see the draw off of the battery while I'm running this. We are done with our welding test and all the loads. I just packed things up and we still have plenty of power to pull our load back to our destination. Okay, the job demonstrations are done. I just made it back here to the barn where I'm gonna recharge this. And I just wanted to make a little comparison. You know, something like this I've had for years, this little Blue Eddy. It's great for a tent for charging phones and things like that. Uh, but if you've got a big campsite, like our daughter is in her versions of Girl Scouts with our church called Pathfinders. And to bring something like this out on a Pathfinder camping trip, which they do quite often, would be incredibly valuable. Everybody's cooking out at these camps. Everybody needs a little bit of electricity, etc. And something like this isn't going to cut it for very long, especially for like a weekend long trip. And it's not gonna be that easy to roll out, say like an EcoFlow Delta out to a camping spot if it's remote. And something like this is pretty much gonna go anywhere and it's gonna help you pack in some of that weight. Let me talk about a few opportunities that the company can take to make this even better. First, since this is NMC battery technology, it needs a special charger and it comes with that charger, but you can't just charge it with anything and it has to have one of these Anderson connectors. There are third party chargers out there, but you have to check with the company to see if it's within spec for this battery. Another opportunity is to put a longer cord on this because you gotta put it pretty close to the wall to be able to charge it. Yes, you can run an extension cord, but that's gonna drop your charging times just a little bit. There's gonna be some voltage loss. I would really love the addition of a solar charging option for this. And that takes me to talking about their large version of this. This is the Komodo Mini. They have a Komodo, which is giant. And that one does utilize solar charging. It can also charge an EV. It's on tank tracks like this, and it's good for using on a construction job site where you need a ton of capacity to be able to power a bunch of tools all around that job site, and that big one can do it. But for a homesteader, a camper, a small rancher, this one is perfect. I'd love to use some solar panels that I could carry here on the top to the remote parts of my property and charge it all day long while I'm using it. Speaking of using it outside all day long, this one is not weatherproof. It is not IP rated or ingress protection rated. So this one, if you're going to use it to power your house for an electrical outage due to a storm, I would recommend just driving it into your house. That's easily done with these tank tracks and there's no off-gassing. There's no carbon monoxide worries like having a gas generator. But if you're out camping or out on your property and a storm rolls in, what are you gonna do? Well, the simple solution is a waterproof generator cover. I have this one on my gas generator that sits outside and it is easily adapted to fit on the top of this. One more opportunity I think Battery Evo has is to strengthen this tongue and maybe redesign it a little bit to accommodate other things. Let's charge this thing back up and then I will give you my final thoughts on the Komodo Mini.
So what do I think about this contraption, the Mini Komodo by Battery Evo? Well, I think it's got a lot of cool potential. I think it can be used in many different applications. It is very unique and I think the usefulness is there, especially for the reasons that I mentioned earlier, for you know homesteaders who don't have electricity all over their property, for um, if you're building something far out on a large property, if you're camping, or as a, uh, a generator for when storms hit and the power is out. And like I said, you can just drive it into your house. You don't have to worry about carbon monoxide issues from a gas generator. I wish there were a few extras on it that would make it a little bit easier to charge, but other than that, very cool product. And like I said, if you're interested in checking one of these out, the link is in the description below the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me in the video description below the video. Now go check out these videos right here, which is our latest solar installation for our house. Have a beautiful blessed day. See you next time. Bye.